Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Yay! Thank you, Father God, for this lovely day. We praise the Lord and we glorify you, Father God. We offer our lives again unto your mighty hands, Lord. Cover us with your precious blood, Lord. You are with us, in us, through us. In you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. And we acknowledge your presence in this wonderful day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Every new day, your glory unfolds. Yes, Lord. Filling my life with your treasures untold. Oh, yes. The beauty of holiness brings worship on you yes god my greatest love is your lord yes father yes god lord you are our greatest love hallelujah call me deeper into your grace the river that flows from the holy place wash over me cleansing me through my greatest love is you yes god you are our greatest love lord jesus because you first love us hallelujah thank you for the god for the word says here that for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and thus whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life thank you father god and that lord thank you that it says there for god demonstrate his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us oh thank you father god for your love to us lord hallelujah for god indeed is love amen amen oh we praise you god we glorify your father we magnify your lord thank you again for this wonderful wonderful day oh god and let's see what god's word for us saying today it says here uh, july 30 uh sunday um Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 says that love the Lord your God with all your hearts and with all your soul and with all your strength thank you Lord and um, when we are searching for God's will for our lives it helps to begin by loving God and going on from there thank you Lord help us to love you Lord father thank you and it says her also that um, Abide in me, and I in you. John chapter 15, verse 4. This is the day to stretch, to reach for God's hand. He's close beside you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Always remember, whatever betide you, you are never alone, for God is beside you. Indeed. Amen. Thank you, Father. And it says her also that if anyone would tell you the shortest, surest way to happiness and all perfection he must tell you to make it a rule to yourself to thank and praise god for everything that happens to you for it is certain that whatever seemingly calamity happens to you if you thank and praise god for it you turn it into a blessing indeed amen thank you father Everything happens to me, Lord. It will turn into a blessing. Father, because you are with me and you love me so much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. And it says also that, of course, July 30, it says that because Christ gave himself for us, the very least we can do for him is to offer our lives in gratitude to be used as he sees fit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise the Lord. We glorify you, Father, and we magnify you, Lord. Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that as we partake the bread and the cup, we remember you. We do this in remembrance of you of what you did on the cross for us. It says that institution of the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. 
took the bread, and when he gave thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after his supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me, this cup. Father God, thank you. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We glorify your Father, and we thank you, Lord. And it's and in, it's it continued to say to say here that for as often as you drink this bread, you eat this bread and drink this cup. Hallelujah, Father God, thank you. And uh, you proclaim the Lord's death till He comes. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We glorify your Father. We magnify your Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the bread of life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. We glorify your Father. We magnify your Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All are welcome to your table. Yes, God. Love is waiting there. Oh, yes, Father. And whosoever at your table. Love. Hallelujah. Your tender care. Yes. The broken life, broken bread. You have called us to your table. Love is waiting there. Spread before us heaven's table, tenderly prepared. Broken the, the bread of life, flowing there the healing wine. We will meet you there when, and will find grace to help in times of need. Yes, Father. We will meet you there and seek your face. Bowing on our head, and we'll find glory, glory. Yes, and we'll find holy, holy. Oh, we will meet you there. Yes, Lord, your, ma your name is holy. Father God, we will meet you there again. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for saving our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Lord, we pray for us, Lord, to thank you, Lord Jesus, oh, God, for our lives. And we pray this as our prayer for our prison as our prayer, Lord, oh, God. Our family, relatives, and friends, spiritual family, every one of us, Lord, praying with me today. In Psalm 91, Father, the safety of abiding in the presence of the Lord. And as we who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. O oh God, in Him we will trust, O oh God. Surely He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers, and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of it till by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noon day. A thousand may fall at our sight, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked, because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the Most High our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for he shall give his angels to charge over us, and keep us in all our ways. And in their hands they shall bear us up, lest our foot will not dash off again as the stone. We shall tread upon the lion, the cobra, the young lion, the serpent, we shall trample under our foot. The Lord is saying that because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will set them on high because they have known my name. They shall call upon me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father God. We believe it and receive it, Lord. Amen. And it is good to give thanks unto the Lord for his good. Amen. Praise the Lord for your love and faithfulness, O God. Thank you, Lord. You are so 
are good and we give you thanks, Lord. It is good to give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And to sing and praise to your name, Most High, O Lord, O Most High God, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness at night. Father God, thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness at night. And we love you so much, Lord, because you first loves us. Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, O oh God, for today, the worship and fellowship, the pastors and the leaders, the evangelists, the teachers of the word of God. And I pray for those who do not know you, Lord, to come to know you, Lord, and receive you as thy Savior and Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66. Father God, as we read your word, help us to understand. Give us, Father, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Come, let's carry on reading now God's word. Father, thank you. Isaiah chapter 66. This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Could you build me a temple as as good as that? Could you build me such a resting place? My hands have made both heaven and earth. They and everything in them are mine. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will bless those who have humbled and contrite hearts, who tremble at my word. But those who choose their own ways, delighting in their detestable sins, will not have their offerings accepted. With such people sacrifice a ball, it is no more acceptable than a human sacrifice. Mm. Wow. Jesus sacrificed for our sins. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. And then... When they sacrifice a lamb, Jesus is the lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. We can read that in the book of John. Let's carry on reading. When they sacrifice a lamb, it's though they had sacrificed a dog. When they bring an offering of grain, they they might as well offer the blood of a pig. When they burn frankincense, it's as if they had blessed an idol. I will send them great trouble, all the things they feared, for they called, they did not answer. When I spoke, they did not listen. They deliberately sinned before my very eyes and choose to do what they know that, that, that they, um, and choose to do what they know I despise. Hear this message from the Lord, all you who t- tremble at his words, your own people, they, your own people hate you and threw you out for being loyal to my name. Let the Lord be honored, they scoff. Be joyful in him, but they will be put to shame. What? Is all the commotion in the city? What is the terrible noise from the temple? It is the Lord. Is it, it is the voice of the Lord taking vengeance against his enemies? Before the birth pains being been before the birth pains even began, Jerusalem gives birth to a son. Who has ever seen anything as strange as this? Who ever heard of such a thing? Has a nation ever been born in a single day? Has a country ever come forth in a mere moment? But by the time Jerusalem's birth pains begin, her children will be born. Would I ever this nation to the point of birth and then not deliver it? Ask the Lord. No, I would never keep this nation from being born, says your God. Rejoice with Jerusalem. Be glad with her, all you who love her and all you who mourn for her. Drink deeply of her glory, even as an infant drinks at his mother's comforting breast. This is what the Lord says. I will give Jerusalem a river of peace and prosperity. The wealth of the nations will flow to her. Her children will be nursed at her breasts, carried it in her carried in her arms and killed on her lap. I will comfort you there in Jerusalem as a mother comforts her child. When you see these things, your heart will rejoice. You will flourish like a grass. Everyone will see the Lord's hand of blessing on his servants and his anger against his enemies. See, the Lord is coming with fire and his swift chariots roar like a whirlwind. He will bring punishment with the fury of his anger 
and the flaming fire of his hot rebuke. The Lord will punish the world by fire and by his sword. He will judge the earth, and many will be killed by him. Those who can secrets and purify themselves in the sacred garden with, with its idol in the uh, center feasting on pork and rats and other detestable meats will come to a terrible end, says the Lord. I can see what they are doing and I know what they are thinking. Mm. So I will gather all the nations and people together and they will see my glory. I will perform a sign among them and I will send those who survive to be messengers to the nations, the Turkish, to the Libyans, the Lydians, who are famous of archers, to Tubal and Grace, and to all the lands beyond the sea that have not heard of my fame or seen my glory. There they will declare my glory to the nations. They will bring the remnants of your people back to your to, from every nation. Oh, and they will bring them to my holy mountain in Jerusalem as an offering to the Lord. They will ride on horses, on in chariots and wagons, and on mules and camels, says the Lord. And I will appoint some of them to be my priests and Levites. I, the Lord, have spoken. Wow. I sure there is a revelation in here that the Lord is giving to me, but it's not for me to give yet. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I pray for that, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Amen. And let's carry on reading verse 22. As surely as my new heavens and, uh, and earth will remain, so will always be my people. Uh, with a name that will never disappear, says the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. All humanity will come to worship me from week to week and from month to month. And as they go out, they will see the dead bodies as those who have rebelled against me. For the worms that devoured them will never die, and the fire that burns them will never go out. All who pass by will view them with utter horror. Wow, thank you, Lord. But thank you, Lord, for saving us and that we will not receive this uh, horror, horror, the terrible horror that with the worms that never die and the fire that never is go out. But, Father God, we will receive eternal life and beautiful uh, place in heaven with you, Lord, because you save us and you are our Savior. For the Lord God himself uh, died for our sins. It's not the lamb, it's not a pig, it's not a, a, a sacrificial lamb. It's the Lord Jesus himself. And so, Father God, we receive you lord and indeed lord heavens is your throne and the earth is my first soul and this lord your own everything the heaven and earth belongs to you and so father god lord we glorify you lord and receive you lord as our personal lord and savior lord and we want to be with you oh god lord hallelujah my fellow god's beloved if you have not received the lord jesus christ He's inviting you to come. Come, let's receive him. Hallelujah. Because we are all sinners. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It is in Romans chapter 3 verse 23. But God so loved us and he wants us to be with him. We read this earlier in our reading. And so let's receive him as our Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. I repent of my sins. Hallelujah. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind